And we're back, and it's Film Friday. Last week we were talking about the pinhole lens and how that worked, and this week we're going to go through some of you guys' photos. So let's jump into that. Brace yourselves! So I was taking a look at the hashtag pinhole challenge, and a lot of them are awesome. They're amazing. And a lot of you guys did it with film, and some did it with digital, and that's awesome to see, doing both. But here, let's take a look on my phone, and we'll take a look at the pinhole challenge. Okay, so this first one here, this is super cool. I guess it was a really long exposure, so he moved his face from one side to the center and then to the other side. He just held it for a few seconds each way, and came up with an awesome result. I like it. It's really disturbing in a good way. And and it's even cooler because he did it on it looks like a, a maybe a toilet paper tube and then with some film. So I think that's awesome. That's really creative. Let's go take a look into the profile. Looks like he did some more and does a lot with film. That's awesome. I'm going to give you a follow. Hey, okay, and here's another one, cool one by Bell Rebobinata. I'm, I'm butchering these names. I'm so sorry. But this one's cool. Another creepy, kind of disturbing one, but in a good way. And it looks like it could be like a hallway going into a dark room, maybe with like a single window, so that it's not completely dark. I think it's really cool. Give you, give you a fall. It's awesome. It looks like it was also done with film, so it's even better. All right, here's another one by Val Valentina Lopez. I hope I'm close. I'm terrible at pronouncing names, but this one's super cool. This is, I guess, I'm assuming what she did was a long exposure and probably put like a, a lens or a pinhole and put it near a window, blocked off all the other light, and then all the light that came through was projected into the room. I've seen a lot of this work before and it's amazing and I'm just thinking this is kind of what she sees out her window and it may look like she's on the on the ceiling but I'm pretty sure she just flipped it over because the image that projects is going to be upside down. I mean super cool that she flipped it because it makes you think a little bit. It makes you have to flip the phone over to see if it's actually upside down or not. This one's awesome. Definitely follow. Oh yeah and here's another one by L. L. Gen. I'm so sorry. I'm not I'm not gonna try anymore. I, I suck at butchering names. I'll just put the name up here. But this is awesome. He has an original right up front, and then he also has them put Another together one. side by side, and it looks pretty seamless. This is awesome. Oh, where are you following? He does a lot, apparently. Give him another like. Oh, this is super cool. So, as you can see here, he made a metal box, put a pinhole through it, and he's gonna make a panorama photo out of it. I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's super neat. Give him a follow. Oh, this is super cool. A, a portrait. Looks like there's some slight motion. Looks like it's on film as well. This is awesome. I like it. I, I even like that you can't really make a face disturbing in a good way. And I think it tells a good story. There's lots of negative space. You can kind of get the gist of what she's doing. You get an idea what the room is. I think this is awesome. Also, right in the corner. Looks like a face, even more creepy, which is awesome. Lots of interest in this. I like it. Give you a like and a follow. Awesome. This is cool. This is upping, upping the game a little bit more. So here we have John. He's got a portrait of himself using window light. Super cool, super dark. Looks like he was shot on film too. And we scroll past and it's a panning time lapse. I think that's awesome. Using film and a pinhole lens. Super cool. Give them a like, give them a follow. Awesome work. Well, you guys did a lot of good work. I couldn't go through all of them, of course. I only have so much time, but I also chose the ones that were really popping out to me and people who did uh, stuff that up the ante a bit more, like the time-lapse panning pinhole photos on film. I think that's awesome. But let me know down below what one's your favorite. And if you haven't already, check out my video up here about the pinhole challenge that I did myself. And don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.